Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Sultan Most Sporter. In this video I'll be discussing who Chelsea should keep and who they should sell in the summer. As you can see I'm a huge Chelsea fan uh, since my childhood so this video is going to be about Chelsea. Even though we know that UEFA won the Premier League to finish by June which looks like an unlikely proposition but I personally believe that priority should be to finish this season then look to next season. First I will tell you who Chelsea should keep and sell then I'll later on explain why. Uh, in terms of keep Kepa or Balaga should be kept, even though he's had a poor season um, with six clean sheets in 25 Premier League matches. So I think uh, he should be given one more season to grow his wealth. Uh, Jamie Cumming, young prospect, I think um, can, give, can be given more chances, but he can be the center on loan or play more FA Cup or League Cup matches. Uh, Cesar Azbella Quetta, you know, wonderful serve in Chelsea football, player, wonderful. Um, I love his professionalism and went. Like the eagerness, he wants to play every single game. Um, and I think the youngster should learn from him. Um, the next player, I think, is Rhys James, who's going to be a wonderful right back in the future, one of the best in the world. Um, he's a, I think he's a very, uh, very good prospect from Chelsea Football Club. Antonio Rudiger, I think every single time he plays, um, I think um, he's a rock for our defence. The defence looks much, much better when he plays with them. So he should be kept. Uh, Tomori, he's been a wonderful prospect for Chelsea Football Club. Um, I still think he can improve, but obviously he's still young. Christensen uh, should also stay. Zuma should also stay, even though both of them can improve the aerial uh, awareness in terms of tracking runners in inside or outside the box. Marcus Alonso, I think, um, has he's been an important figure for Chelsea this season. The important was against Bournemouth and Newcastle. So he should stay. Jorginho, even though he's had his criticisms, but I think he's played better than last season. Ingolo Kante, one of the best midfielders in the world. But uh, Chelsea should uh, try their all to restrain interest from Real Madrid, PSG, Barcelona, etc. To keep him because we need him in our midfield for like another th uh, three or four seasons when he's on the peak of his powers. Matthew Kovacic, he's been a revelation on the Frank Lampard. <coughs> um, he's been a revelation on Frank Lampard. I think he's uh, developed into a very good midfielder. He always looks forward and encourages the, the attackers to play freely. That's why I really like um, uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek. He's had his injury problems this season and can obviously improve uh, his worth next season. Mason Mount's been a revelation. I think that uh, he can obviously score more goals and be more consistent. Billy Gilmore, um, I think that Billy Gilmore is a wonderful talent. Um, he had a, had a wonderful game against Liverpool and Everton. Um, so we should, uh, he can also develop further and improve. Callum Hudson Odoi is a very good player, but I still think he can add more goals to his game. Willian, obviously, there's been rumours that Spurs, Arsenal, etc., but I think we need to keep him. As Hakim Ziyech is coming in, I think we need to have an experienced core at the football club. Christian Pulisic, I think, should be kept. He's, he's, he had a wonderful season at the start. Uh, he played. Uh, he had uh, he scored a hat, a hat trick against Burnley, which was uh, very good. Um, Tammy Abraham, I think he's had a very good season. 13 goals in 20 Premier League appearances, but I think he can improve further. Um, Olivier Giroud, I think um, he's been an important figure for Chelsea this season because he scored. Goals are important times, and when Tammy Abraham was injured, he um, came in and put in a brilliant shift. In my opinion, I think the players that should be sold is uh, one of them is Willy Willy Caballero. He's 38 years old, so I think it's not a very stiff competition for Kepa. So, like for example, in terms of thinking, oh, I've got a very good goalkeeper um, challenging me for the number one spot. I don't think. That's, the, that's what he feels. I think we need someone who can really push Kepa for the number one jersey um, so he doesn't rest on his laurels, obviously. Ross Barkley, I think, should be also be sold um, because I, th I don't think he's fulfilled his potential. Um, I don't think he's good enough for a team like Chelsea, in my opinion. I do think at times when our play is going very good, he slows down the play, playing the middle. Uh, middle of the pitch, which I think disrupts the way we play. 
and he does give away passes and pass accuracy is not as good as he used to be against Everton uh, when he used to play for Everton. Uh, Marco Van Ginkel, obviously known, uh, I don't know if many know him, but he was signed in 2013. But I think that Chelsea should um, sell him because there's very a lot of competition in midfield, so I don't think he'll be able to break in. Pedro, he's 32 years old. Um, he's been a wonderful player for Chelsea, but I don't think he scores enough goals. Even though I say that we have uh, young blood uh, in our squad, but in terms of wingers, I think we need fresh blood instead of playing keep on winning and Pedro, winning and Pedro. Um, I think we need young players, especially in the winger position. Sancho is being uh, some rumors around Sancho. Already got Ziyech, obviously. Um, so I think we should um, move him forward, but um, he's been a wonderful player for Chelsea. Michi Batshuayi scored 13 goals in 59 Premier League appearances. I think he can, uh, he should be sold, but I don't think he's played to his uh, full ability. Even though I'll give him the benefit of the doubt in terms of thinking that he's got most of his appearances have been from the bench, so he hasn't had an, um, a lot of chances to make an impact. He has like 15, 20 minutes. I think that's very harsh on a player. But I still think when he started games, he's He's not, he doesn't look sharp, he doesn't look that he understands the way Frank Lampard wants to play going forward. So this is what I overall think um, in terms of which players Chelsea should keep and sell. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel.